Welcome to the jQuery lecture series and let's start with the introduction first. Here is the introduction. jQuery is a JavaScript library designed to simplify HTML DOM tree traversal and manipulation as well as event handling, CSS animations and AJAX. It is free open source software using the permissive MIT license and as of May 2019 jQuery is used by 73% of the 10 million most popular websites. Now you can imagine the popularity of jQuery. And remember that jQuery itself is not a language, it's a JavaScript library. Now it's time to understand the benefits of jQuery. These are the few benefits of jQuery library, like widely used and have great community. It promotes simplicity. Write less and do more, cross browser compatibility, lightweight, clean syntax, mobile friendly, open source library and quick page loading. Now let's understand all these points one by one. The first thing is it is widely used and have great community. So jQuery is quite popular with website developers due to its simplicity and power and as a result it has a big community. So you can easily get an endless list of resources on the internet like you can find code snippets, you can find blog posts, quality tutorials and documents and many more. So having great community is always better. And the second point is it promotes simplicity because it's really a very simple library and it allows a very clean syntax and it is also very lightweight. And due to its simplicity, it is very, very, very popular within programmers. And the third point is, uh, it allows you to write less code and do more work. Because in jQuery, you can perform complex tasks by writing a very less code, right? And this is the beauty of jQuery library. And the most important point is, jQuery library is cross-browser compatible. It means that you need not to worry about the various browsers available in the market. So your code is going to have same behavior on all the web browsers. So it means you can completely focus on the logic, right? And you do not need to worry about the cross browser compatibility. It will automatically be maintained by the jQuery library. Next is jQuery is lightweight. Uh, if you go to the official website and download this library, you will see that this library is 24 KB only, okay? And 24 KB is really a small number, which is even smaller than a photograph, you can see. Even in most of the cases, a JPG file is bigger than 24 KB. So it's extremely lightweight. So Jake query allows clean syntax. I have already explained it and due to this it is really simple and popular and the next point is it is mobile friendly, right? It is mobile friendly because jQuery library can be used to make uh, mobile compatible websites and for that you can also use jQuery mobile. It's a framework, it's the library, okay? Next is jQuery library is open source. jQuery is an open source library that is free and supported well across different applications. This means that anyone can use this language in their application without worrying about any licensing or compatibility issues. So you do not need any license, right? Just go to the official website, download the library and start using it. So it's, it's just really simple and one another point is jQuery library allows quick loading right because jQuery library is lightweight it's, it's uh, not more than 24 KB so it quickly loads into your web browser and that is why it is also SEO friendly SEO stands for search engine optimization so these are the benefits of jQuery library and now let's discuss about jQuery library usages and here you can see that 
where we can use jQuery library like it is used for DOM manipulation and DOM stands for document object model and it is also used for making animations even you can use built-in animations or you can apply custom animations and jQuery library also supports Ajax calls right and it also allows dynamic web pages because because you can make changes in your web pages at runtime so jQuery allows this feature and due to this feature you can make dynamic web pages and the last point is it, it makes programmers life easy because really it can it can uh, perform complex tasks in an easier way and one more point is uh, jQuery library allows Ajax calls and all these Ajax calls are cross browser compatible you need not to worry about browsers now let's talk about jQuery versions the first version 1.0 it was released in August 26 2006 2006 and the second version 2.0 it was released in 18th April 2013 the version 3.0 it was released in June 9 2016 and the recent version is 3.5 and it was released on 10th of April 2020 now let's discuss the popularity of jQuery library and here you can see that a big number of companies are using jQuery in their tech stacks like uh, we have 1,5865 companies and they reported that they are using jQuery in their tech stacks and even you can see some big names here like Uber, Twitter, Udemy, Stackshare and many more and likewise you can see that there are large number of tools that are using jQuery right like you can see that uh, some big names are Cloudinary, Dojo, uh, Tiny MCE, PHP My Admin, Dev Extreme, and many more. So there are 34 such tools. If you want to find out all these lists, then you can visit the website stackshare.io/jQuery. Uh, this is the website where you can find the details of jQuery integrations and the companies who are using jQuery widely. Now it's time to share some amazing facts about jQuery library and very few people know that uh, previously jQuery was known as jSelect but later on they renamed it, it as jQuery and jQuery was developed without any version control. Well can you imagine any open source project to be released without using a version control system? Yes, jQuery was one of the open source projects that was released without any such control system and still it's popular. And see the third point, when jQuery was launched, another project called Java SQL library also had the similar name, but later this came to the attention that there was a jQuery name for another project as well. So this is really interesting. And previously jQuery had no Ajax functionality, right? Well, till the mid of year 2000, asynchronous web apps were in demand but not too much. For editing a single content, the entire web page was to be reloaded. At that time, jQuery had no Ajax functionality. Uh, the Ajax functionality was added later. Or you can say in the later versions. And jQuery is highly inspired by various open source projects like Prototype JavaScript, XPath, and Behavior.js. Now let's talk about jQuery and jQuery UI. Remember that jQuery and jQuery UI, these two are separate libraries. jQuery is a purely designed to simplify and standardize scripting across browsers. It focuses on the low level stuff like creating elements, manipulating the DOM, managing attributes, performing HTTP requests, etc. It's a core jQuery library. And jQuery UI, it is a set of user interface components and features built on top of jQuery. So it is more related to the graphical user interface. So it works on the looks of your application. Like you can deal with the buttons, dialog boxes, sliders, tabs, 
and some advanced animations and drag down drag drop functionality now let's understand from where you can download jquery or jquery ui library so here is the link the first link is for core jquery and the second link is for jquery ui right and the last one is the final note jquery is simple yet powerful library and it is worth learning it even in 2020 it's still not too late it is still in demand so start learning jquery with me and this is all about this lecture